Okay, we are here once again with the Autocross Club of Central Oregon. I'm waiting for the starter to line me up. First lap, first lap, it's never fast. You gotta find the uh, course and make sure you're you're getting the course correct without any errors. So, okay, he's 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 lining me up to the start line now. I'm watching him, and he lets me know when to clench it up, and he lets me know when to go. And he said, "Go." Man, that's a hard turn for this car. I hope I got that last part right. Okay, brought it in for a... Oh, it's 13, 7... Okay, something, something went wrong with the doggone timer. It said 13... 13 seconds. I, there's no way that's right. Okay, back oh, well. at the starting line again. Got the accountant here. Michael Eisenberg setting me up. Oh, he says pinch it down right there. So we got to wait for our start signal. I kept it in first gear for a long time that last lap, and the timer didn't work. So that was sort of a, I think I'm just going to get it in second gear a little sooner and just work it from there. Cone, I coned out. I hope I'm not dragging the cone under the car, but anyway, yeah. Big, big mistake. Big mistake. So, yeah, I think that was a gate cone penalty. Whoa! Oh, that is gnarly. Coming way too hot. Oh my god, this car does not turn that sharp. This car does not turn that sharp. That was not good. 53 to 8 and two cones or a cone anyway so I got I got two seconds but that wasn't I totally blew it 53 to 8 53 to 8 53 to 8 I totally blew it I just I I just wasted those cones that's don't normally do that but I did okay coming up for lap two which is actually lap three because technically I should get a rerun later so anyway this is technically I guess like lap two for me to the 53 nailed the cone can't nail the cone this time I need to keep it clean so I need to just slow down a little bit sometimes slower is faster waiting for the signal from Eisenberg Turn radius. So I, gotta, I gotta just maintain the momentum. 
gotta come around so far there. That is, I don't know, I'm hoping I can do like a 50. Oh, 5125, 5125, 5125. I'm stoked, okay? So that's what I figured my potential could be around a 5125. And I believe I had a clean lap at 5125. I gotta remember that to write it down. Okay, time for me to beat 50.125, 50.125. Fifty point one two five is my time to beat, or at least you know stay consistent. So fifty point one two five. Let's see what I can do. Can I beat it? Can I stay consistent, or will I be way worse? Well, you never know. This old car, she got some vibrations there. Okay, I'm going. Oh, this second gear dug on it. Oh well, that that was that was that was bad. That was bad. Cause I missed that second gear. Traction loss. This is where I really, the car, and that's, that's all the way to the lock. I mean, that's as, that's as sharp as it'll turn. Oh man, I lose a lot of time there. 49.52, 49.52, 52 I beat it. 49.52. Oh my God, 49.52. Okay, I don't know if I could beat that. Well, maybe I can, because I did, I messed up that time. I messed up, so. Okay, here we go again. Time to beat 49.52. 49.52, my time to beat 49.52. And you know, I felt like possibly there could be a little bit more in there for me. I just, there possibly could be a little more. So 49.52, can I stay consistent? Can I beat it? Waiting for my start. 49.52 to beat. taking pictures. I don't know who that was. Oh, I hope I got that right. Okay, now here I gotta go really wide because this car just does not turn. This takes forever. Traction loss. One legger. 49.62, okay, so not quite as good, 49.62. But hey, only like a tenth off, 49.62. Okay, here we go again. out whatever anyway I was washed out here's where it takes freaking forever in this car that's as that's as sharp as she turned baby bringing it in for a full stop in the box 490, 490, 4903, 4903. I think I beat my time. 4903, 4903. Whoop. Okay, so I did the 4903. Now this is my rerun, so time to beat is 4903. 
I don't know. I don't know if I got that much to beat 4903. Oh no, I got not enough. So, 4903. Yes! 4903, my time to beat. This is it. This is this is the last one. But sometimes on the last one I get I try too hard and then I go slower. So 4903, my time to beat. Stay in, don't mess up, don't hit any cones. Not good. 4903. Oh, washed out, washed out, washed out. Maybe not a good lap, maybe not a good lap. Too much washing out. Oh, this car takes forever to turn around. Forty-nine oh three again. Forty-nine oh three. Hey, that's consistent. Forty-nine oh three five. See, I'm not counting the last digits, but forty-nine oh three. So one more. Forty-nine oh three. Well, son of a gun. That was fun. Forty-nine oh three again. And of course, that last digit will make a difference for my fastest lap of the day. But when I'm just watching, you know, I'm not looking at that third digit really when uh, when I'm just doing this. So anyway, yeah, Autocross Club Central Oregon up here at Hoodoo today. It's a heel of a deal. It's a lot of fun. If you guys have never done this, you need to get up here and do this. But you got to register online and fill out some forms online, some PDFs and stuff. But you got to do that online because all the COVID stuff. So we used to just be able to drive up here and register on the site, you know. But now you have to do that beforehand. So there may be a little bit of a learn a learn curve there, <laughs> a learn curve there, to uh, you know, to get that done. But hey, if I can do it, anybody can do it. I'm definitely not a tech whiz. So yes, sir. Autocross Club of Central Oregon. ACCO, ACCO, Google it up, ACCO, Autocross Club of Central Oregon. I'll put a link down there below in the description, but it's autoxclub.org, autoxclub.org. Get out here and have some fun, folks. All right, catching me a while ago. Hope you enjoyed your ride today in the 1989 Honda Accord, currently sitting with 300 and 42,351 miles original engine transmission. All right.